Fucking hey. win it, boys! Three man! Hey. How's it going everybody? Welcome to this video, uh, Midwest Duckman. Welcome to the first episode of the Duck Boat Build. Hopefully you guys are excited because I am as well to finish this. As you can see, the blind's already built. Um, I actually have to refilm this because we went with a different design than what we orig originally did. Um, I filmed the price breakdown. I had everything brand new in the package. Uh, we built the blind on Saturday and I ripped it apart on Sunday. Um, the blind didn't work. Uh, there was too much material and whatnot, so we decided to go with a almost A-frame style, but it's it's not an A-frame, but you, you have the shooting trough, and it comes off of the middle points instead of uh, being, a, uh, instead of a scissor blind. We first went with a scissor blind, but then we decided to go with this style. So, this video, I'm going to give you the complete price breakdown of how much it will cost you to build this blind on a 14 to 16 foot boat. Because mine's a 14 and a half foot, mine's five and a half feet across the rear, four and a half across the nose. So we're going to jump into how much of each, how much of material you're going to need for the build and how much it's going to cost you. Uh, price will vary state to state, but I am in Iowa and I bought my stuff from Menards. So if you're in Iowa or Midwest and you have Menards or Home Depot, these prices will be relatively the same, um, but there will be differences. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. There will be differences. So right off the bat, we'll, we'll just kind of jump into what you will need. I guess you have receipts somewhere around here. So let me figure out how much. We need one, two, I just got two and a half, so one, two, that'd be three, four, I'm going to say six sticks of uh, half inch conduit. Or you can go three quarter inch, that's up to you if you want to pay a little more. Or, yeah, six sticks, because I have one stick left over back here. So six sticks. That's seven bucks. Uh, it'd be roughly 43 bucks for that. You're gonna need a tarp uh, to create your, your rain cover unless you don't want that. Then you don't, you don't have to get a tarp. That's 17 bucks itself. What you will need are these couplers. They are steel set screw couplings. These guys, you will need these. These will make your life so much better when you try to put this thing together. Uh, you just put one end of, put one end on one side, one end on the other, and you can screw it together. It also makes it very adjustable, so you can pop these out very easily, you can put them back in. Say if you have to trim a piece because it's something that's a little too long, pop it out, trim it, and you can put it back. Um, the way I the way I first made my, my duck blind on my bass boat, how many ever years ago, I took these PVC elbows and duct taped them to conduit. Ooh, that was loud. So you're gonna need six sticks of conduit. You're going to need a tarp. You're going to need at least one, two, eight of those couplers if you wanna go with this design. So you can need eight of those couplers. Uh, they sell them in packs of five, so you're gonna need two packs. Two packs at two fifty, so it's gonna cost you five bucks for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, five sixteenths uh, wire locking pin. So you're gonna need a smaller locking pin. I figured out. Now you're gonna have to go with a quarter inch locking pin for these for these arms. Uh, these are a buck fifty a piece. Um, you're gonna need them at least two and a half inches, or at least an uh, inch and a half, so they can get through both bars. Unless you use flat steel. If you use flat steel, it, you'll you'll be fine. But we're using all conduit on this. 
uh, those are a buck fifty a piece, so you're gonna be at six bucks for your your wire locking pins. Um, five sixteenths by eighteen hex nuts. You're gonna need. I just bought a thirty six pack of them. I don't know how many I ended up using. I used one. Two, three, four, eight. I, I ended up using eight of these. But for a 36 pack, they're only two bucks or 229. So I might as well just buy a big thing of it because I don't know about you guys, but I always, I always have extra stuff laying around in my garage. Um, you will need 36 of the 516 washers. Because on all of my connections that I have, pan the camera down, I go washer, washer, washer. Mainly because these move, these rotate up and down. So you want washer, washer, washer. Same thing here, washer, washer, washer. You're gonna need 36 of them. So a 36 pack of washers is, They never charged me for them washers. I, I remember that from the first video I filmed. They didn't charge me for them washers, but they were like three bucks. Um, an eight pack of five sixteenths, uh, three inch hex bolts. Uh, you can go shorter on them if you want to. You can probably get away with two and a half or two inch bolts. I went with the three inch just so I knew I had enough room. I can always cut them. That's no big deal. But the eight pack of that is five dollars and fifty cents. I don't think I have the back for them anymore. So those are 550 for them. Then you're going to need four of the elbows. So you're gonna need four of the 90 degree in the same thick thickness tube that you were using to build your blind. So I went with half inch, gotta go half inch. If you go three quarter, you gotta go three quarter. If you go an inch, you gotta go an inch. Simple. So you need four of them. Uh, I bought six of them because of the other style of blind, but they're three, three forty for each for each one. So you're gonna be looking at about twelve bucks. Yeah, twelve bucks for them. And then you're going to need four C clamps. I went with the three inch clamps, the Irwin three inch, mainly because they had a big face to them, and I needed this big face to drill my hole. Uh, they were five bucks a piece. You need four of them, so it's gonna cost you about twenty bucks. So for the total amount of stuff that I got, it'll cost you a whopping one thirty-six. But if you take that tarp off, you don't use it. That's seventeen bucks off. So one hundred ten bucks. So in just materials alone for this blind, it will cost you. Roughly $110 to get all the materials needed for this blind. Actually, that's a lie. It'll be about 120 bucks because you need um, these guys. These little uh, quarter by 20 by two and a half, quarter by 20 by one and a half. So I use the, the one and a halves for my top bars up here, but the light's gonna be right in the way. I'll show you here. The one and a half inch are here. They, they just slip into that bar. And the two and a half inch are down here. Where these link up. That's the two and a half inch bolt. Um, I got the pack where it came with bolt and nut for like a buck 20 or something like that. And each pack of those, no, probably about a buck fifty or so. They're they're super cheap. You might as well just go get some. They're they're not stainless steel. You can go with well, you can go with stainless steel, but I just went with those. Do not. 
So that is everything you will need. I will put it up on screen right now, an entire list. If you'd like to stop the video and screenshot it, it'll be right here. I'll, I'll, I'll my, my hands here. So that's everything you're gonna need, the, the prices and the total price of what this blind will be for the amount of material you need. Hopefully this helps you guys as you're planning out your build. Remember, I have a 14 and a half foot boat. This is a 10 foot blind by roughly five and a half. It, I, I guess, I guess it really matters on length. So it, it's, mine's a 10 foot blind by, I'm gonna say five and a half. And then it's two, three feet tall. From, from the, these bars to the top of these bars is three feet. So if this guys helps you, hopefully this helps you guys. Wow, my English sucks today. Hopefully this helps you guys out in planning your build. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the series. Um, I kind of go in depth on how to build this thing. I'm pretty sure this is the most in depth build on one of these. And I've got a bunch of time lapse with it. Hope you guys enjoy the series. Hope you guys subscribe. And we're going to be using this in two days to go shoot some geese. It's Goose Opener in Iowa, October 1st, and I am excited for it. And this will be its maiden run, going to shoot some geese. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys want to watch the rest of the series, and if you want to watch our hunting videos. And as always, guys, hunt smart, hunt safe, and I'll see you guys out on the water.